In the midst of chaos, hyperbolic rotations thrive. How do these come to be? Let's have a look. In the beginning, there was a circle. By moving along circle, a rotation was born. But circle wasn't alone. There was also his brother, Hyperbola. Moving alongside it, hyperbolic rotation was born. Let's think about how we would do hyperbolic rotation. Here we have a triangle. We can squish or squash it alongside the x or y axis. When we squish it in one direction by one third and squash it in the other by three, we move alongside hyperbola. Next we can look at both of these done at the same time. To let the angle work symmetrically around zero, we use exponential function on it before using it. Now we have our hyperbolic angle and can use it to perform hyperbolic rotations. As a last step we rotate the transformation by 45 degrees to fit a hyperbola. At last we observe that distances are distorted. Hyperbolic distances are different from normal ones. These points are always the same hyperbolic distance away from each other. Please like and subscribe. Bye.